What's up guys, Beeson here from Technos with an unboxing and review of the Memorex Bluetooth Clock Radio. So this is a really good deal, I have one of these already. You can sync up your phone to it, get some music, it has a pretty good speaker, it gets really loud. It has a night light built in, it changes colors, color changing LEDs. It's, uh, you can change the brightness on the digital clock right there. Built in USB port so you can charge your phone, it has the FM radio and an audio line in. Also a dual alarm, so the audio line you can use an auxiliary cable to get audio to the speaker without using Bluetooth. So on the back you can see they're charging their iPhone with the with the speaker, and you can see the LED. This is where the LED comes out and where the speaker grill is. So you can see all the specs on the back if you want to read that. It's Bluetooth certified, but we're gonna get into it now. Okay, right, so it's just a little flap here, no tape, so. Most of the products I review here have a lot of tape and plastic all around them, but this one's pretty easy to get into. So this could come in handy for this radio, because it's a little hard to figure out all the buttons, which I experienced with using it. Uh, here's a limited warranty and Spanish version. So once we get past all that stuff, we have the wire, which is about three feet. I'm not going to untangle it. We also have an auxiliary cable. I'm sure you have one of these lying around your house, but it's always good to have another one. And inside, we have the clock radio. So it comes in a lot of bubble wrap, so it doesn't get uh, beat up when it's in transport. So you got a little, a little bit of tape right here. Nothing too much. And it's really protected in here so it doesn't get scratched up. Because it has a glossy finish. So you can pick this up at Walmart, it has various prices, it's around $30. So this is the FM signal wire, you just untangle it and wrap it up against your wall or tape it to something near a window. So as you can see here, this is the display. You have your clock settings right here, PM, auxiliary, input, so that there'll be a light that lights up here to tell you what input you're on. This changes the brightness, these are the bu various buttons, volume, fast forward, rewind. This turns the night light on, which is up here. Now I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so I plug the thing into the outlet. Now we're just going to plug it into the back. You can see the USB port, auxiliary cable input, and the AC input. So once you have it plugged in, the night light turns on. You can see we have the digital display here. I'm going to set up the time, and I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm back. I set the time up. So it's 12.51 right now. You can change the brightness of the time as you can see here by just pressing this button. And up here is the LED changing, the color changing LED, which changes for all the colors. Purple, blue, green, yellow, orange. It looks really nice in the night. As you can see here, I shut some of the lights off. You can see it pretty well. But when you have it up against the wall, you can see the reflection, which looks pretty cool. So right here, we have the FM receiver wire. So you just untangle this, and I'll show you how the radio works. Alright guys, I'm back. I rigged this wire up to close to a window so it'll get a good signal. So I'll have the LEDs on. I'm going to get some music going now. So you can change the channels of this button right here. Change the volume right here. So if you want to change the volume, it's right here. It's it pretty loud. It goes all the way up to 30. There's a preset button over here, if you want to set up presets for changing channels easily. This is how you shut the light off. Now the light's off up there. So I'll change the channel, see if I can find something better. Alright guys, I'm back, I got some music on. So it sounds pretty good. It's a little low on bass, but you can expect that from this. It's just an alarm clock. It's just an added feature that has a speaker on it. So, I showed you all the buttons. This is the wire that gives the signal. If you have it closer to a window, that helps, obviously, so I'll get the signal better. Some of the channels don't work as well, because this wire isn't the biggest one. And another problem is you won't be able to get AM channels on this, so if you listen to that, that's, uh, you can't listen to it on here. There's not many AM channels anymore, but if that's something you're worried about, you might want to look for a different speaker. But overall, I would recommend this speaker to anyone who wants to buy it. It has good sound, the alarms work very well. The LED light is a cool feature. You have the USB port in the back and the auxiliary port for music. That's all a great deal. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe.
pick up the speaker at Walmart Best Buy. They might have it at Best Buy still. I'm not sure if they have it. There's various different retailers you can get this at. So if you want to pick it up, it's around $30. So check out my other videos. I have some speaker videos. JBL Flip 3. The other speakers like the Alltech Lansing waterproof one, which is really cool. I have a cool test on that video. If you want to see that, I give it a water test. It totally passes it, and it makes it pretty easily. No water gets into the speaker, and even if it does, you can shake it out very easily, and it won't do any damage. One bad thing about that speaker is if it's underwater, you won't get as much signal. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Peace out.